Do you want to find out how one of the most useful types of notes work? Parallel notes. They're used by professional colorists all the time. And if you want to find out why they're so powerful and how exactly parallel notes works, then all you got to do is watch this. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. So here I just have a basic grayscale and a couple of serial notes set up. And the way serial notes works is that you get the clean RGB output from your signal into a node. And then whatever you do in this node will be multiplied and pushed on to the next node. So you're basically just adding on top of each other. So every node is taking the input from the previous node. That's very useful and probably how you want to work in a lot of situations. But let me show you what happens when you do that compared to uh, working in a serial workflow. So I have the first note here and you can just see the waveform and the parade and the parade here you have the red, the green and the blue channels and in the waveform you have the overall luminosity. So let's just add some red here to the gamma in the first note, so plus 0 0.75. And if you take a look at the, with the waveform and parade, something interesting happens. So you, you can see you pushed in a lot of the red and you increase that here. And you can see in the red channel, you increase the red a lot. But what also happens here is that the blue and the green channel are affected as well. So if I turn it on and off, you can see how the luminosity of the green and the blue channel is going down and the reason is that when you add saturation you also add luminosity but DaVinci Resolve will by default has this little guy down here the Luma Mix set to 100 and what this guy does is it makes DaVinci aware of your luminosity increase by adding the saturation and it's trying to even out the luminosity of the other channels so you have more or less the same luminosity whenever you change saturation. That is set to 100 by default and that works well in most situations. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna bring that down to zero. And now you can see the red and the, the, the blue channels are not affected at all. If I turn the note on and off, we're only affecting the red channel. For this example, I'm gonna work like this. And then it's more easy for you to see what's happening. And then in the second note, so now I added red, and then the second note, I'm gonna remove the exact same amount of red, minus 0 0.75, and you're back to basic. So if you turn these two notes on and off, there's no change at all. That's how serial notes work with luminosity set to zero. But let's make a new version. So if you right click on your thumbnail, you can go to local versions and create a new version or you can press command Y. I already made one here, I call it parallel. And here I just have the two notes set up in a parallel note structure. And by the way, in order to add a parallel note, you add a note and then you can press Alt P and that will automatically add a parallel mixer for you. And after that you can press Alt S and add additional notes. Let's just at the saturation here. So this is plus red. And in the second one, we're gonna call that minus red. And we're gonna go down and do the exact opposite, minus 0 0.75 in the gamma. And now you see something interesting happening. Since they're sharing the same input, they have the same starting point, but the result after being mixed together will be totally different from the serial node that you had before. So now you have the option of controlling and adding different parts of the image because you have the same input and they're not fighting each other. And then you can add, for example, a look node here or whatever you have after that. And you can, for example, go down and lift your blacks, lift your shadows and bringing the gain down and working on that from then on. So that will be a totally different result, but let's see how that works in a practical example. So. Here I have a clip that, let's bring her into the center here, that I'm gonna show. And I loaded up again two serial notes. So first we have a, we're gonna create a vignette. Just the basic standard vignette everybody is asking for all the time. And I'm gonna soften it up quite a bit, like so. And let's go in on this vignette and let's bring the gamma down. I'm gonna 
exaggerated quite a bit for you to for it to be easier to see actually I need to invert this so invert so I work on the outside bringing the gamma down now let's take the gain down and again exaggerate a bit and let's say I want to bring out some of the teal here in the background so I'm gonna add a bit of teal like so so there you have it and now let's say I want to bring up the highlights and add some warmth to the window here so on this note I'm gonna create a gradient and I'm gonna put it up in the corner in the same direction as the the light is coming in here and for this one let's bring the gain up again I'm gonna do it so it's pretty easy for you to see quite a bit like so and I'm gonna add in a little bit of color like so but what's happening now is this node is working against the previous node because it's working off the output from the vignette node so what happens if we do this in a parallel node structure so I'm going to copy this node then I created a new version with a parallel structure I'm going to paste that node in I'm going to go back and copy the window node and paste that in and now if we go back and compare the two so let me just remove the outline let's go full screen so this is the serial notes and if you take a look at the corner up here on the right you see how mushy the highlights are and you see it's not a clean color going through and if I go to the parallel node structure you see how much it's cleaned up you don't get that teal seeping through and you get a much cleaner signal so this is just one practical way of how useful parallel notes can be in your color grading workflow and in addition to parallel notes you also have the option to use notes with a layer mixer with that you can use notes in a way that's more similar to traditional layers like the ones you find in Photoshop if you want to learn more about how the layer mixer works then you can check out my video right here thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more useful tutorials and tips and smash that like button. It really helps getting the content out there. Thanks a lot. Catch you on the next one.